Yo yo yo, what's up guys? And uh, after a long time, welcome back to another loop station tutorial with Benbit. But here I have to make a few explanations. Um, regarding, regarding the fact that I have the Mark II, today I'm going to do a tutorial on one of my original uh, Mark I tracks. Because uh, uh, some people uh, requested me this one, and also my best friend requested me, so big, big, big shout out for uh, my friend Flavien from Belgium. And uh, yeah, he was waiting for so long for this one, and let's uh, do it. Uh, so uh, guys, I just want to make a quick uh, explanation here. Because I have the Mark II, there is uh, some sounds that will not sound and some drops that will not sound the same, like on Mark One. But don't worry guys, I give you all the settings and uh, for you guys it will surely sound correct as my eternal track. And another uh, uh, thing here to say before uh, we dive directly into it is that I'm going to do a tutorial on um, my very old version of Eternal, so not the one that is on YouTube. Let's go! So, uh, as always guys, I'm going to tell you first the all the FX and settings that you need, and then we will do it. But before that, make sure guys to put all your measures in free, very important. And uh, as you can see, there is no track effect on yet. So let's go. We start in the input. On FX A, we are going to have uh, several FX. The first one is uh, dynamics with the type of live compression and dynamics plus nine. Then still on A, you will need a robot. I am going to tell you the settings for the Mark One because here it's a bit different. The note is D, DB. The D flat. And the gender is going to be plus 10 as always. Here on the Mark II there are um, different uh, settings and parameters as you can see. So gender plus 10, guys. And uh, the notes are going to use, we are going to use DB. DB, then EB, then E, then F sharp, and then A flat, and the last one, A and B. But we start at the D flat. Okay. And uh, I think on A, that's pretty much all. On B, again, two FX. EQ, low minus six, high plus five, low mid minus seven, and uh, high mid plus two. And the level, not really important. You have to adjust it as uh, to your uh, mic. Every mic is different, guys. Don't forget that EQ is can can like really uh, be different for anybody else. Yeah, this is just my EQ. You can use it if you want. If it fits you, obviously. Still on B. Panning delay baseline. Make sure to put your knob here. Time is going to be first 29 milliseconds, then it's going to be 26 and um, 19. Yeah, start at 29 milliseconds, the feedback 100 and the E level 0, which is going to be controlled by the main knob. And I think on uh, B, that's all. So you can go back to the EQ. And now, because uh, Mark II don't have uh, the FX uh, using problem anymore, like uh, the, the rules, now I can use dynamics and having... Wait, let me see where it is. Now I can use dynamics and uh, guitar to bass and... Um, Octave, pitch band, robot, even having the guitar, uh, the granular delay selected on C. But on Mark Mark One you can't do this. So in order to do that, go from dynamics to anything after or before it. Let's say vocoder. You have the one uh, vocoder before the dynamics, and then you can you can use granular delay on C, which starts at the time of 32. Feedback is 95 and E level is just 50. Okay, still on uh, C. Reverb, which is 3 seconds, and E level, it starts to 0, firstly, and uh, D level 
is a 100. That's it. Still on, see, <laughs> the last effect is low passed filter. Uh, rate is the quarter triplet. I really hope, guys, that you can see the screen and you can distinguish the FX. Depth is going to be 68, resonance 37, and the cutoff uh, 63. No step rate. That's it. But I am going, guys, to uh, mention uh, everything we are going to use. Step by step. So now that you can hear me louder, I am going to put my dynamics back. I will not uh, have to go from dynamics, because I can use on Mark II, granular delay and dynamics. But we are not going to use dynamics. So you go from dynamics, before or after, and you can use then granular delay. So you start with granular delay on C, okay? And now let's go to the track FX. Uh, there are some. So I'm going to start with A, which is going to be only one effect. The filter. But here on Mark 1, it's a bit uh, different. Uh, the filter is separated, as you can see. I really love that. So it's going to start with filter and that's only effect used on A. The first type we are going to use is H passed filter and the rate is going to be the dotted 8, depth 100, resonance 80, cutoff, make sure to put it to 49 to be exact. And the step rate is going to start to 16 note. We are, we are going to change the settings while doing the track. You are going to see that. Um, yeah. It's not really a, an easy track, guys. So sorry for that. But uh, yeah. So A is filter. We are not going to use it yet. Uh, on B, we are going to use, I guess, only one effect. Yeah, still only one. Which is going to be the low fi. Uh, the beat depth is starting to 2. Sample rate off and the balance should be 55, 45. Here it's only 45, yeah. But you got my main idea. And on C, guys, 2 FX used. Which is going to be first a reverb of 8.3 seconds, yeah. E level, make sure to put it around 30 something and D level 100. Yep. And we can already start, by the way, guys, I forgot to mention that. You can already have the FX on on the tracks 2 and 3. Okay? So press the FX in Mark 1, that's how it goes. Press the FX and then edit the track 2 and 3. Okay? And the last FX used, and then we can go to do the track is panning delay on C, where, where the settings are dotted quarter, feedback of 51, and E level of 87. And that's it, guys, all about the fix. So now go back to the reverb on C, in the track effect. Make sure to have it here. Have filter h passed on A and lo-fi on B with these settings. And we are going, guys, to change the settings of the FX in the track effect really, really, really a lot. But I'm going, guys, to do it step by step with you together in the second part of the tutorial because I have to cut it right here because my camera can't film more than 10 minutes. So we are going to be back. Okay, guys, we're back with uh, the tutorial. And now, guys, it's about to do the track together. So the tempo is 141. By the way, guys, before, because on the mark is a bit uh, really complicated to explain, go to the memory button, you know, I don't have that here. Go to the memory, go right until you find compression, put that on minus two, and the rev reverb of uh, four. Yeah. And the put effect and track effects, obviously, on multi. We are going to start with reverb on C. On track effect, uh, here, the 30%, yeah. And on input, we are going to start... With DCQ level, I use here plus 4. You can use like plus 8 on Mark 1, because, yeah. And we are going, guys, to start with this pattern on a granular delay. It's ka, tika, ka, tika, ka. And 
32. And we change it. So 32, then 30, and 29, and 27. In one take, guys. Let's do it. On track 2. FX already on. Second recording is with the times 25, 24, and 22. Let's go. Put the feedback a bit higher here. You will need it. down with the time 37 and feedback about 95 96 yeah we have the granular melody you can go from the granular on C to reverb now you can go back to dynamics on A and we are going to change uh, the EQ settings only when doing the hi-hats snares and the kick drums separately so for uh, hi-hat snares I use always minus 5 low and the level stays the same and we use reverb for flicking it to the snare <laughs> okay so let's do the beat on track number one. Which is going to be a little bit something like... <coughs> Sorry guys, I forgot the pattern of the hi-hats. It's going to be like this. the kicks with low plus seven and then change EQ minus seven record a short uh, shakers on track five like this and now it's going to be the baseline on track 3. Go from B, from EQ to panning delay, and now go on C from reverb to the first effect, which is filter. But before doing that, make sure to put your E level on the reverb already to something like 60, 72, like, yeah, something like that. And now put filter and the uh, input. Something like this in the microphone for the bass. And now you have this. But to have a more smoother bass line for this track, you put filter. What I have to mention here, guys, is that we are going to change both time of panning delay and the rate of the filter for this track. Okay? Let's do it. First 29. And now it's 26 milliseconds for the second uh, recording and rate half note triplet. Let's do it. And now guys the last uh, changing of the rate is a uh, half note and um, baseline time 19 milliseconds please. And now record that for the rest of the track uh, of the recording, what it's empty. And now 
now you have this. So now you can put your time back to 29 to save the track like that. And the time uh, rate on filter to the quarter triplet. Nice. And now on C you can go from filter to the last effect reverb. Now on B you can go back to EQ and now we are going to EQ the robot like this. Low minus 11, high plus 7, low mid minus 8, high mid plus 2. And level somewhere around plus 5. Now go to the robot effect on A and uh, we are going to change the notes here. And we are going to record it on fourth track. Let me please check how much time left I have in the recording. I have like 2 minutes, okay, that's enough. And then we are going to be done with everything recorded so guys put your reverb to somewhere about this mm, three o'clock then stop the track and then record only the robot melody yeah but guys as always i always have to forget something so on c we are going to use one more effect i didn't uh, I, I i i simply forgot to say which is um Distortion on C. Vocal distortion with the type. Oh, sorry, the type is only on Mark II. Sorry, so it's vocal distortion on C, guys. That uh, starts to distortion zero. So put the main knob to the left. Tone plus 34. And level is about for you like 50, 55, 57. I don't know. For me, I have to put it really high because distortion on Mark II is really weird. So guys, yeah, that's the all last effect we are going to use on C. But uh, you start with reverb, you put the reverb time to somewhere around uh, this part, and then you change reverb to uh, distortion. Okay? So now, I am going to stop the recording, and I'm going to be back with the last part of the recording, which is a robot. Yeah. Okay, guys, so let's record the... Robot melody on track number four. And make sure to put your reverb once again around 30 something in level. That's it. And now you have to do this part exactly the same like me. Like this. Make sure to put C and A. Flat. In the meantime, change the reverb on C to distortion. Put the distortion here at zero. Let's go. Now I change back my dynamics on input so you can hear me now clearly finally yeah okay so now we have vocal distortion here and what i forgot to mention guys is that we are going to start with these settings in the filter step rate is uh, 8 triplet and the rate is yeah this the dotted 8 we are going guys to change only the step rate from this one to the 16 note right after at the drop Okay, so let's go. Okay. And now guys put lo-fi and filter both together on track two. Raise this song slowly up. Make sure to change the step rate on the filter before the drop. And now put guys distortion. All the way. And 
this is the first drop. And we are going to change the cutoff on the filter with the main knob at the drop, like this. filters settings like this All right go back to the half note triplet and step rate will be eight note change this cut off 100 and because of a lovely mark 2 which i really love it so much i have now to Put the same settings on a, a different filter, as you can see on Mark 1, there is different FX. Yeah. Low pass, high pass, and uh, high pass are all separated. So I put my settings. Yeah. Okay. Because we have these. Yeah. Okay. I love Mark, one, Mark 2. I love Mark 2. Okay. We start uh, now like this. These are the settings on the H pass filter on A. So rate half note triplet, step rate 100, uh, step rate 100, sorry, <laughs> step rate 8 note, and the cutoff is going to be at 100. We slowly put it back to 49, okay? Good. Now B is still lo fi, but now change the lo fi's depth to 1. And that's it. And on C, uh, we it's, it's going to stay the same FX distortion vocal but now have the ethics on only on the track 4 now disable the ethics on second track yep I think lo-fi is staying staying here uh, still at 2 sorry for that the second drop of the track is going to be this one okay we are going to put a distortion lo-fi and we start stop the lo-fi change the low fi depth to 1. And now, uh, change FX C to panning delay. This is the last effect used on C. Okay? And now we are going to play uh, with the track for start, stop, button. Okay? I found it uh, more smooth and uh, clear than change putting the fade up and down. That's like, I don't know, at the drop it's not really clean sometimes. So technically speaking, this is uh, the third drop of the track. Okay. Just follow up.
now, guys, it's finally coming uh, the last drop of the track and the last part of the track. Um, we are going to end the track um, with filter A and panning delay C, but I will go to explain that at the last part of the tutorial. I have to cut the video once again. Ah! And so to speak, we finally arrived to the last part of the tutorial. When I go to show you the last drop, how it's done and how you end need to end the track. Nice. So, um, B is still the same lo-fi, bit depth 1, sample rate of balance 55, 45, and C now is going to be panning delay, but we are not going to use it now. We are now going to use for the last drop only filter and lo-fi. So, go in filter, go to the cutoff, put it to 100, and we slowly put it to 49, and then, right after you did that, we are going to change the filter from h past filter to low low past and that's it and then i'm going to show you what you have to do in the to end the track so let's do the last drop <laughs> Yeah, 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 you just have to change only the filters cutoff, which is going to be from the where it's uh, right now. You have to put it to 16, the cutoff, 16. That's it. That's all you need to change. And in the last part, right before ending the track, you change the rate from the half note triplet to the Half note, I believe. Yeah. Okay. And guys, you end with panning delay C and this low pass filter on A. Let's end the track right now. And here you will edit tracks 2 and 4 only. That's how you have to do Eternal by me. Thanks so much, by the way, guys, for requesting uh, the tutorial. I mean, you were not uh, really that much people, but you were some, I guess. Yeah. So thank you guys for that. I'm really... I don't know how to explain. I'm really um, happy and it's a big pleasure for me to reveal my tracks. I'm not like... I don't know. Uh, I like to... To show to others how I do my tracks. And guys, before ending this uh, video, I want to ask you guys for something. I don't know if you will guys be, I don't know, interested if I will uh, start a, mem a membership on my channel wh wh where I will put, I don't know, <laughs> like Black Biscuit, <laughs> maybe, tutorials for uh, my original tracks that are going to be posted in the next few weeks and also for anything else on Mark II tutorials 
would you be interested if I will start a membership? Or if uh, not really, I also thought about doing the tutorials for free, like, you know, just public for everybody. I don't know. Just tell me if you're interested, guys. And uh, I know I was um, really, really not active for a long time, but because I didn't have inspiration and ideas. But now, guys, from this video and from the others that uh, I posted uh, on uh, Sunday or, Mon or Monday, I posted the cover on scene. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So, guys, from now, I will be back for a pretty long time. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, put a like. If you don't like it, put a dislike. If you find it useful, maybe, I don't know, share it with your friends. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and most important thing, if you want to stay tuned with all my videos and all my content, make sure, just, you know, you just have to turn on the notifications. Yeah, you know the bell. Not really a hard thing to do. And maybe subscribe. Maybe it will help me. And even uh, letting a comment, feedback, it helps me a lot to improve. Not only as a YouTuber, only as a beatboxer, but also as a human being. So guys, thank you so much once again, and I wish you a um, great weekend. And uh, take care of you.